it's an interesting the history of the track is is always fascinating to me because yeah. mm-hmm. sometimes it's a, it's its own worst enemy you know because you when you look at as it progressed through the 80s you still had pole day which pole day was mini race day and for a lot of people that was their race day because they right, could afford yeah. to get the ticket to go to pole day but then when you had the uh the indy car cart rate cart feud pole day went away forever yeah. sadly well, it you know? kind of actually started going away a little before that because that for years pole day had its appeal was how fast are they going to go? Yeah, yeah. And by the 90s, they had kind of started, it wasn't, even the early 90s. And, and the split happened in 96. But Do you think that was that because was there weren't as many teams to make it as competitive? Or what do you uh, think? They was just, you, you reach a limit, and they're yeah. trying to slow yeah. them down. They were right. trying, they, they figured, th- this is about as fast mm-hmm. as. you got to remember, in, night, in, the early, in, the, in the late 50s, uh, engineers said that it was physically impossible for a car to average more than 150 miles an hour wow. at the Indianapolis Motor physically impossible. Yeah. 1962, Parnelli went broke the 160 mile an hour barrier, broke the barrier, yeah. you know, broke the 150 mile an hour barrier. In uh, 17 or 15 years later, Tom Sneva in 1977 broke the 200 mile an hour barrier, and then in yeah. 1996, Ari Leyendyke went 237. Yeah. So, you know, but that was uh, uh, the poll day kind of dropped off. Now, an interesting story about the poll day in 1977. This play, I was there the first day of qualifying. It was a race day size crowd. I mean, people knew this historic event was going to happen, this unbelievable barrier. A couple people had broken it unofficially in practice Gordon Johncock, uh, Mario Andretti, but it, but it didn't count until you did it in qualifying. Yeah. And so everybody figured it was going to be Tom Sneva because Sneva was driving for Roger Penske. He was great at qualifying, and everybody was anticipating, and he was going out early, so they were anticipating him doing it. Well, that year also was a year that Evil Knievel, the motorcycle daredevil guy, was sponsoring a car huh. being driven by Gary Bettenhausen. So Evil Knievel's at the track qualifying morning to watch his car qualify. And he is uh, dressed in a red, white, and blue leather jumpsuit with a collar up jumpsuit, over his yeah. ears, yeah. you know. And, and he had a cane, and I had this confirmed. I'd heard about this, but I had it confirmed with a guy who worked on the crew. It had a diamond in the handle that he said was telling everybody it was worth thirty grand in 1977. Wow. So he's walking through there, and everybody's going nuts. There's Evil Knievel. Well, it, you know, the crowd's going crazy. They're ready to go. Out, out on the racetrack, here comes Sneva, and everybody is on the edge of their seats. And he takes a couple warm-up laps. Well, that's right around the time they start bringing Evil Knievel out of the garage area and heading him towards pit lane. And he starts walking along, and all of a sudden, here comes Sneva, takes the green flag for the first, life, and he, the first lap, and he dives into turn number one, and everybody says, oh, my goodness. And Knievel, Knievel's getting closer and closer and closer and closer to the, to the pit lane. And as he gets about 10 feet away from it, Boom, there goes Sneevy, completes lap number one. He comes diving back into turn one, and then all of a sudden, as only Tom Carnegie could do, he cracks that mic open and he goes, It's a new track record. record. <laughs> 200, and that's all you heard. It startled me. I remember jumping out of my wow. skin. It was so <clears throat> loud. Wow. The scream. Mm. Evil Knievel thinks it's because the crowd spotted him. <laughs> of course. And they had to grab him because he starts walking down the pit lane, waving to the, uh, waving no. to the multitude. Yeah. Of course. They had yeah. to grab him and pull him oh, back.